Jesus said, The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Philip Yancey. Philip writes, I stand in the cashier line of the local supermarket and look around me. I see teenagers with shaved heads and nose rings looking through the snack foods. A young professional buying one steak, a few twigs of asparagus, and a sweet potato. An elderly woman pondering the peaches and strawberries. Does God really know all these people by name, I ask myself? Do they really matter to him? The maker of all things is the maker of all human beings, and each of us is deemed worthy of his individual attention and love. God demonstrated that love in person, on the gnarly hills of Israel, and ultimately on the cross. Philip continues, When Jesus visited earth in the form of a servant, he showed that the hand of God is not too big for the smallest person in the world. It is a hand engraved with our individual names, and engraved also with wounds, the cost to God of loving us so much. Now when I find myself wallowing in self-pity, overwhelmed by the ache of loneliness that is articulated so well in books like Job and Ecclesiastes, I turn to the gospel accounts of Jesus' stories and deeds. If I conclude that my existence under the sun makes no difference to God, I contradict one of the main reasons God came to earth. To the question, do I matter, Jesus is indeed the answer. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verses 1-11. through 11. The words of the teacher, son of David, king in Jerusalem. Meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher, utterly meaningless. Everything is meaningless. What do people gain from all their labors at which they toil under the sun? Generations come and generations go, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises and the sun sets and hurries back to where it rises. The wind blows to the south and turns to the north. Round and round it goes, ever returning on its course. All streams flow into the sea, yet the sea is never full. To the place the streams come from, there they return again. All things are wearisome, more than one can say. The eye never has enough of seeing, nor the ear its fill of hearing. What has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. There is nothing new under the sun. Is there anything of which one can say, Look, this is something new? It was here already long ago. It was here before our time. No one remembers the former generations, and even those yet to come will not be remembered by those who follow them. That's today's scripture reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. Let's pray. Father, when we are overwhelmed by the ache of loneliness and pain, we can run only to you. Jesus showed us how much we matter to you. And we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.